with Banakse, I am a PhD student in the University of Nevada, Reno. Uh, the paper which I wanted to present today is about unsupervised learning of spatial temporal patterns using spy-finding dependent plasticity. In this paper, we present an unsupervised approach um, for learning of patterns with spatial and temporal pattern, uh, temporal information. Uh, from a very, very small number of training samples. Uh, we use the spike neural network as an approach for our training part in this paper. Uh, there are two main contributions of this paper. In other words, uh, we are different from the previous works in our emphasis on mostly unsupervised approaches and also on training from limited sample sizes of training samples. Uh, which, uh, we created our own dataset of handwritten digits. Uh, our dataset contains just five samples per each digit, which we can see here. Five samples for zero, five samples for one, for two, and so on. And also we encoded the temporal information uh, in the digits, uh, which, can, which we show that how these digits uh, are drawn. We can see here that um, the intensity of pixels are, are different with each other. Um, uh, for example, uh, the intensity of the first pixel or the start of the pattern is the highest and the intensity of the last pixel uh, or uh, the end of the pattern is the lowest. So in this way, we will show how to draw uh, these digits. And we trained our network, spiking neural network, just with uh, this small number of training samples. And um, these are a subset of our testing data, which uh, we could classify correctly. We can see that these are completely different with our training data set. And the variations are a lot in this testing data. And these are just a subset of our um, Training, not all of them, our testing data, not all of them. And these are the results. We tested our uh, approach for multi class classification and also for uh, binary classification. The results are really awesome and great. Um, and also, the results show that um, despite of the small number of training, uh, training data sets, we could classify uh, correctly. A uh, new unseen and uh, different uh, testing data. And uh, that's it. Thank you for your.